Right, what is going on, boys? This is episode two of Talk Four, featuring Flois. If you want to uh, introduce yourself, uh, my name is Flois, seventy years old. You're seventy years old. I'm from Denmark, and I, my best FC player is second. And uh, once sixty K earned. Lovely sixty K. <laughs> How did your career start? I mean, I started playing back in World Cup, right? It was pretty, you know, like RG level now. Yeah. Got, yeah. A, got a couple. I think I got like four, five of the the weeks, and then I got money. I could buy myself a PC, and um, then there was the Caddy. Wait, you were, wait, you played on you played on PlayStation? Hell yeah! I was the piece. I was the PlayStation grinder, bro. And you, then you bought your first computer from winning money in the World Cup. Yeah. And then uh, the solo FNCS got announced. The Caddy season. Yeah. Which was my uh, first grants. Oh okay. And uh, what was the difference between so you so you then swapped from controller to keyboard when you when you swapped or did you stay on controller? Nah, nah, I was playing mouse and keyboard on the PlayStation. Oh, oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's mad. Yeah, yeah. That is mad. And um, and and then when did you kind of become a professional gamer? I mean, I guess the the solo grand finals, the first one. Which was when? What what year? Uh. 20 wait i'll i'll look it up for you bro 2020 no yeah i think it's like 20 2020 was the one when benji got further than that it takes him one day since yes it's a long time ago it is back in 2020 yeah 2020. Right, okay and that's when you turned into a pro is the reality of being a professional gamer uh better or worse than you thought it would be mm, i'll say I'll say worse because not that like it's bad, you know, but I don't think that when I was like 10 years old thinking going pro, I don't think I like I had the force that you need to make content, you need to you know, meet fans. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm playing, maybe I'm making bank. Did you, you, know? did you want to be like you wanted to be a pro from, from that age or what? Yeah. You always wanted to be a professional gamer. Yeah. I think most most uh, boys dream that, no? Either that or a football career. Yeah, for a lot, a lot of young people too. And what advice would you give them, young people? Huh? What advice would you give the young the young lads who who do want to be professionals? Just play. Just play. And, uh, yeah, just play, practice, and then uh, don't have like a negative mindset. And if you like, have there any, have there been any points where you've played too much and you've wanted to quit, or or been any extremely demotivating times in your career? I think the last two seasons have been rough. Yeah. Didn't do that good. Didn't really like the game. I had the thoughts, but um. I slap myself, say stop being a pussy, and then uh, continue playing. Yeah. So what's on the? So so yeah, you've had a you've had a bit of a rough two seasons. Why do yeah. you think that is? Uh, I just didn't play that game enough. Like I think last season I was level eighty, mate. This season I'm um, one twenty. Right. So okay. I gotta make no changes. Yeah. How do you get levels? What is that? Huh? How do you get the levels when you say level eighty? What is that? Like uh, the pedal level. I think you just when you play the game. Oh really? Is you that just that, an yeah. indicator of how much you play? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. And uh, yeah, so so to improve from now on, what's what's the plan? How are you gonna make you know? How are you gonna make um, grand finals? I mean, I I just if I just hop on the game, I uh, like I still have my mechanics and aim. I just didn't think like I figured out the meta because I always didn't play that much. So I'm been grinding the nobles, to try and grind the the buff reviews and and that. Right. Yeah. Got you. Got you. And talking about grand finals, this uh, this weekend, what do you think? Um, what do you think about Fortnite changing the meta before grand finals with the the uh, the hammer chests, the uh, you know the percentages and that the cooler boxes? Yeah, yeah. What I do you mean, think about that? Obviously, they shouldn't change it like a day or two before grands, but I think it was to change that. I think they should just like from the beginning should have been one hundred percent. Yeah, but um, I understand that some people that don't land on it might be like a. Like, you know, it's sad because right before was it like 50%, 60 something like that. Yeah, 70, I believe. And now, and then yeah, then the uh, option now makes us even like Thomas, but you have how many, four or five guaranteed uh, handsman chest, which obviously makes it harder for the people that are landing on zero yeah. uh, handsman chest. Yeah. Do you think that changed the outcome of the tournament? Huh? Do you think that changed the outcome of the tournament? Uh, I think maybe like from the bottom, like by the 30. I don't think like from Thomas and Ta Thomas and Taysen and them. I think that changed that much because 
how many I think Thomas them one back to back to back or something without the change. So don't think it changed that much, but obviously it always helps them, but I still think they will like get a top three or top two either way. Yeah. And talking about the, the top three or top two, what do you think of the uh the placement in the grand finals? Were you surprised by Tayson's win or what were your thoughts? I mean they had I mean they call for every final which he normally do, right? Yeah. I mean, it is Tayson, so I don't think you can ever be like surprised that he do good because he's him, you know. But winning it, but I probably didn't. I probably thought like Chris and Devil have won it. I'm gonna put him in the yeah. three though. Yeah, top three, and obviously Chris and Vina had quite a bad, bad two days, right? Um, why yeah. do Why do you think that is? Did you watch? I watched games, but I don't know. They said something about loot. Mm-hmm. I didn't see it that much, like the loot, but. It obviously wasn't search. Yeah. I don't know, maybe just a bad weekend. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, it's a bit weird that they don't land on a hammer spot. They had some games about hammers. And obviously, when you're yeah. playing grand finals, it's pretty difficult to play about hammers, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, what did you think of uh, Tayson's, uh, Tayson and Merstach? Obviously, that they won it uh, by yeah. one point. Do you, think, do you think they deserve to win, or do you think Thomas deserve to win? I think they deserve to win. I mean, they land on serious hammers. Right, yeah. So I think they, I think they deserved it. Deserve to win. Fair enough. Who do you think is the better team, though? The, uh, like I think the best team is Crease and them. Do you think but, the, uh, the best team is Crease and Vino? I think Crease and Vino are like the best duo, but I mean, I, I don't think that Trust was that good. Maybe they had a bad wing or something. I still think they are the best duo, but um, I mean, do you do you think guess, Kreese, Do you think Vino could uh, could be the best duo with pretty much anyone he played with who's top level? I mean, they would, I don't know, the best duo, but it'd definitely be like top three, you know? But I think Chris is like, he's a, a magic man. So you don't think there's a better team out there for Vino? Mm, maybe like Tayson. I think maybe Tayson, but other than that, I don't think so. Yeah. I think Chris is the hey, best ideal in the me. game. What is, um, talking about your career now, what's, uh, what's yeah. the highlight of your career? I mean, it gotta be the second place in FNCS. Which was the first? 2021. It was with Hellfire Scram and it was the one with uh, where Cameron the one. Right. The one before Graham Royal. Yeah. And how much money did you win? Uh, how much was it? 70 grand each, I think. Oh, what did that feel like coming into your bank account? I mean, it was always nice, but I obviously lived in Denmark, so 50% of that is getting taken. But um, Really? 50? Yeah. Yep. <sighs> Tough times, but uh, I mean, it's still lies. I mean, if you lie, if you say it's not nice, I think you're lying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got you. Did you um to be to be this good at the game? Did you ever have to neglect your um, uh, mental health and uh, or physical health? Uh no, I mean I'm a skinny guy, and like I didn't have any mental. But I mean it was maybe in the like in the earliest like when I was 15 that maybe been a bit bit rough that I couldn't go to any parties and that because I obviously had to play tournaments every weekend. But uh, mm. I'm happy that I. Uh, play fun instead yeah did you miss out so you missed out on a lot of parties do you like other parties yeah i mean it's nice i also miss some vacations for that but uh it's what it is fair enough and so yeah you're missing the parties you're grinding a lot name me yep. uh name me some struggles that you face day to day being a professional gamer uh because i mean now i'm full-time i've been full-time for the last eight months um i don't know if there's any struggles i mean just wake up. I mean, there's not that many people like grinding early, and I like yeah. to wake up early so I don't waste like the, all of my days. Yeah, I would say like it's pretty chill. You just yeah. play the game, and then on tournament days is obviously uh, nice. Give me, give me one sec. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Um, my door's open. What about um? Yeah. So so you struggle with your sleep schedule, or have you ever struggled no, with I'm sleep ch- schedule? No, I'm chilling, mate. Do I wake up at nine. Nine o'clock every day. Yeah. And then, like, you hit the Kovacs, or what do you do? Uh, I go gym. Yeah. It just looks like I just started. So uh, then I walk the dog, and then I just hop on the game. I play. I don't play Kovacs that much more. I just play Tuna Pambuni and so much and shit. Fair enough, mate. Fair enough. And uh, you do that seven days a week. Do you ever take any days off? No. Not, not one day? No, because I enjoy it. You enjoy it. Yeah. I, don't, I don't feel like it's work, you know? Yeah, fair enough. But... I mean, if I didn't play fun, I'd just play something else. I've been on the PC either way. And you obviously, you finished school, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you finished, what was that like? What was the difference in finishing school um, and going full-time? Does that make a difference? 
I mean, a little bit. To be honest, I don't. I think it's a bit overrated, at least for me, because like all Danish people, all the people I talk to, either they in school or they wake up at five p.m. So I don't play like with friends either way at three o'clock, which I've been home from school either way. You know. Right. Okay. Yeah. I get you. I get you. If um, if Fortnite, you know, if you got bored of Fortnite, would you uh, would you go to a different game? I mean, I will try so. What what sort we'll of try. what do you enjoy? I've seen you playing a lot of Counter Strike. Yeah, I like I like Counter Strike, and uh, I mean Valorant. I don't. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty easy. I feel like I played it for a time, but uh, I didn't really enjoy it that much. But I would probably go pro and just go at least try. Do you, do you think you could? Like because you have like obviously put a lot of time into Fortnite. Do you think you could do that with uh, another game and just be successful? I mean, obviously, say I, I think everyone could go pro. You know, as long as they put in the hours and they know how to do it. So. It would definitely take a lot of time, so I don't think it will do it like in one year, you know? Yeah. yeah. You know, like Ben's is doing now, you know, trying to go switch over to Battlement. Yeah, he did pretty well. I think it takes well, a lot of time. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, he started like in the in the smaller leagues, you know, but you don't like instant start to go into a VCT and that. Yeah, do you, do you think um, do you think age matters much with that? Like, do you think people will like run out of time maybe and miss their peak if, if you started so late? Yeah. I don't think so, because I mean, in most games, you need to be 18 either way to to compete so maybe if you're like 15 16 that's you've got the years to to grind and be yeah. good but is there an advantage to being 15 16 do you think i don't think so i mean if you're thinking about in fortnite like the top five players who's that kami chasing all of them all yeah. of them is over 18 pretty much other than malibuka is that true no, most of them, I, mean. I think so thomas, queasy. thomas thomas is 20 queasy is 22 thomas is 20 yeah, about that, 19, 20. Wait, Queasy's 22, is it? Jesus, okay. Maybe, uh, okay, maybe. I'm, I'm just thinking, it's about that, you know? Yeah, maybe maybe there is hope. So, so... I mean, yeah, Queasy's 20 right now. Oh, that's crazy. So, do, Benno is... So you're 18, right? Yeah, no, I'm 17. I'm 20, 18, 17. long time, nine months. Oh, okay, okay. Do, do you think you've uh, hit your peak? Or um, do you think you've got you know, room to improve? No, I got room to improve, definitely, like... I mean, mechanics-wise, I don't think mechanics matter that much more, you know? Mm. But definitely, like, game sense-wise and and aim-wise, I think I definitely haven't hit, yeah. like, uh, hit my peak yet. Do you ever get in your own head about it? Like, if you do, if you have a bad day? Because personally, I've uh, I've been had a few rough days recently, and I've, I've genuinely yeah. thought, like, maybe, you know, maybe maybe I should just do something else or stick to viewing parties or, or give up. What, what do you think? I mean, I honestly thought about quitting, you know? Because I didn't do that good, but I just told myself that, like, I know why I didn't do good, you know? Like, you, it's not like I'm chasing, like, I can't play the game for a whole year and I still top five again, you know? I need to play the game and figure out the meta and that. Right, yeah. Was, um, talking about, you know, the meta and, and this MTS, was there anyone that surprised you in this MTS, you know, with a good placement or a bad placement? Wait, let me, let me pull up the grants quick. And go for it. I, I have to, who I like, who disappoint me. I think health and them definitely disappointed. They got 18th. I think everyone would probably have put them higher. Yeah. Hey, I, w- I wouldn't say if you say Crease them disappointing because it's fourth and it's still pretty pretty good, but I think most people have seen them be first or second, right? Definitely, yeah, yeah. What about Pixie and Della as well for me? Like, you know, two, maybe people, you know, people don't really talk yeah. about them too much. Um, not great on the socials, the social media yeah. side, but they're, they're, they're up and coming, right? Yeah, I definitely think it's a good like uh it's a good grant they have been in because obviously they have hammer which will help them, and now like if there's no hammers in the future grants they already have some kind of experience in grants and like how to play it. So I think uh I mean they're crazy pixies, especially yeah, well, he's, pixies he's crazy. Isn't he? He's known he's as a, he's known as the best one v one, isn't he? Do you think he's better than Vino? I don't know I feel like Vino. I think Vino is smarter. Yeah. But I, feel, but I feel like Pixie, they might do something hard that just works, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you, I get you. Come on to more about your career. Do you have uh, do you have any massive regrets? No, I don't think so. No regrets? No. Okay, very nice. And uh, out, of, out of all the Fortnite pros you've met, who is your favourite? Favourite pro? I mean... Like over into the probably like he'll find refs and pretty much just all Danish people. But I like Andretz as well. He's he's very nice and calm. Yeah. And uh is when when did you first meet these people, like in real life? 
I think I met I think I think like a dream hack and that. I think dream and then we obviously went to the media day yeah. and in Copenhagen. Were you nervous about meeting them? What, what did you know? What did you expect? Were they like you expected or what? Yeah, I mean, I just thought they would be pretty chill, you know. I would say I probably thought they would have more like ego in real life because obviously over instead of some people have pretty big ego, but uh, yeah, like, in real life they're just normal little kid, you know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, just uh, just to the to the chat right now. Um, if anyone has any questions for flies. Feel free to put them and people who are putting silly things in chat. If you could stop, it's incredibly distracting. <laughs> <laughs> it's so distracting. Uh, if you could be sponsored by anyone uh, for your streams and, and for that, who would it be? I think I'll say Red Bull. I think I really like what Red Bull is doing. Do you drink them during like, tournaments? Uh, huh? Do you drink them during tournaments? When I got them sent, yes, but other, other than that, no, because it's expensive as hell here in Denmark, so I don't really buy them, but. Uh, I just like what Red Bull doing, you know. I obviously Flames obviously was sponsored by Red Bull, and I just think they are like amazing uh, partners to have. Yeah, fair enough. And what do you what do you think about um, you know, caffeine drinks in general for gaming? Like, like you're a big fan, or because some people love them, some people you know sit up all night on them. What do you think? I mean, for me, I don't really drink them. I drink like maybe a monster Red Bull sometimes, you know, if I just buy one. But I'm not like. I think I maybe I maybe feel like that some people are like addicted to them now, you know? Like if they don't drink a coffee or a monster or anything, I've seen like Pinky as he's, he's drinking it's like five or six a day. A day. Yeah, yeah, so bad. You know, yeah. that's obviously pretty bad for your health, but um, I mean, it's not me, so yeah. they do it their life. Yeah, I get you. But okay. I, would, I wouldn't do it. I, have, I did go through a stage where I got sent like a tub of energy, like energy, whatever, powder. Yeah. And yeah. uh, I was playing so well in the tournaments, like after like the focus that I had, but it would ruin my sleep. And then uh, eventually I started taking more and more of this stuff because I was tired in the day and it actually ended up ruining me. So I had to, I literally had to throw it in the bin. I literally put it in a skit and I've, uh, yeah. I only, I now just have coffees to be honest. Yeah, I think coffee is like, because I don't even know what was in like all these powder things, but yeah, there gotta be something in that's probably not that healthy since it doesn't affect you as much as like coffee. But um, yeah, I mean, I just you know have a normal schedule. I think like working out or just going outside. I think that yeah. helps you a lot. Like if you just sit inside, I think it might be a little more yeah. tough to like stay focused on that. Yeah, and probably getting you know having good energy levels because your sleep yeah, yeah. schedule and doing stuff is probably and like go, you know going walking your dog going to the gym probably yeah. a better way to, to have good energy levels. Uh, yeah, than than just, just yeah, levels. yeah, and <laughs> a snorting G fuel. Have you um? So, you know, with your pro career and that, the other side of this is uh, to making content. You know, what sort yeah. of content do you like to make? Do you make enough content? Do you want to do more? What's the plan for that? Uh, I mean, I always do a lot of, I do a lot of content like on other channels and like Danish, Danish like uh, stuffs. But I would like to do more like on my own channel. I think I'm not that much into like making YouTube for my own channel because I think I don't really know what to make, you know? YouTube um, in terms of gaming or in terms of like real life? I mean, for my own channel, it should be gaming, you know, but I like to, like, record, like, non-gaming stuff for other channels. I mean, yeah, yeah, recording non-gaming stuff is difficult, isn't it? It takes a lot of uh, skill to, uh, you know, be natural on camera, uh, make yeah, yeah. good content. It's, it's actually not easy, is it? No, it's not. I mean, you're always thinking about, like, everything you say, yeah. my job, you know? Yeah, uh, but you love it streaming, right? Yeah, I love streaming. I think it's nice. And, uh, you know, just nice community you have. Yeah. You're just chilling. But, yeah, too much easier than making videos, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Because in, in videos, you're... I mean, I don't know, because in video, I mean, obviously when you're recording, you obviously need to have, like, an idea of what you want to make before, and you need to edit and that. But you can, you know, if there's anything goes wrong, you just stop and make a new one. Yeah. Where with streaming, you know, you got to, like, yeah. all the time, just yeah, go so, stop um, and... Yeah, 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 it's tiring. Yeah, it's tiring. It's tiring, but, like... I don't know. I find it easier. I find as soon as, yeah. I, as soon as I like press start on the camera, it's like a, yeah. it's like oh, now I've got to, you know now I've got to do yeah. something. Whereas yeah. when, when I'm streaming to people, it's like natural flow of conversation. You know? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's also easier to like hold the people you know on stream than in videos. Like in videos, I feel like there's need to happen something like every second, or they just you know they just dip. Yeah, they, they all like uh... streaming is like more like you know you're personal to them. Yeah, yeah. They can chat to you on that. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, this is this is a more personal question. 
Have you ever had a girlfriend? And if so, how has that affected your gameplay? I had one, but I don't know if it's that serious, no. What I don't age? think I'll count it as a... How about saying? What age? Uh, 14, so I don't even know. I don't think that counts. She was 14? Yeah, I mean, I was 14 as well. <laughs> okay, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure, I'm not like you. I'm not moving like that you. <laughs> but like, nah, right now I'm just... I think it's like... I mean, I think it's hard when you don't go out that much, you know? Yeah. yeah are you looking for a girlfriend now? I'm just playing, you know, seeing how the world comes. And if you, like, would you be happy? Do you think, like, you'd stop grinding if you got a girlfriend? Like, we seem we're, like, savage a little bit. Nah. I mean, now I need to grind because I'm doing bad, you know? But if I was doing good, maybe, maybe I would been, like, focusing a bit. But I think you have a lot of time to still, if you have a girl, I think you still have time to be with them, you know? Yeah, well, and grind. Well, yeah, but then you have the people who are just putting, you know, everything in. You know, your girlfriend's going to yeah. want to take, take evenings off and do stuff that you don't really want to do, you know? Yeah, I mean, you don't need to play five no positions a day, you know? Yeah, but if you do, you're going to be better, aren't you? I don't know. I feel like maybe, like, after three, you might be, you know, not as concentrated in the last two. Yeah, so, someone asked... Because... Go, sorry, yeah. go on. So some... No, no, I didn't have anything more to oh, So someone asked, um, how much time does he think he needs to play daily to become a pro? Oh, I don't know. I think you need a lot of times. I don't feel like like mechanics-wise and aim-wise, it's more like figuring out the meta and, because, and be aware like when you need to rotate on that. I think that's where you need to put the time in and not like how you shoot and or you can do a little bit, you know? Yeah, I think that's the, the issue of me being on stream is that I try to be flashy all the time. Yeah, like, yeah. Rather than just learning the game and, and I'm trying to like show off, you know? Yeah. Um, and I probably should stop showing off and learn the game, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who is, uh, so has anyone quit Fortnite that you were good friends with and you miss? I mean, obviously, I still talk with Kaiser. He's, he's Kaiser. obviously quit for that, but he's still doing broadcasting that from Blast. But I would say, like, most of the like the Danish people that quit it. People like who? I mean, Kaiser, Gaming Kuno, Downs 2K, as some people Oh, Downs 2K, him. yeah. Gaming Kuno, isn't he like 30? Yes, uh, uh, hey, hey, don't disrespect me like that. I think he's like is 26. He, is he 26? Oh, when did he quit? Uh, oh, that's a long time ago, I think. Like, he was playing squats, playing squats, you know, and with uh, Hellfire and no ref score, I think it was. Got you, got you, got you. And um, if you were in charge of Fortnite Competitive, what would you change? Uh, I think they have been good with, like, the communication now. Yeah. I think that has been very good. But I would probably change some of the stuff in-game. I think it's more like the in-game than the outside play. Because I feel like this year they have been, like, improved with, you know, we all know when FTS and that is going to be. Yeah, sorry. So sorry, the chat. Is just, <laughs> the chat is sending silly questions in and being very silly. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's totally, mate. Yeah, I, should, I should definitely turn the chat off when I do this. It's, so, it's the most distracting. <laughs> it's the most distracting thing. Yeah, your chat has a banter, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, but um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm so grateful you could do this thing. Um, if you could go back in time and tell your younger self something, what would it be? My younger self, probably that when you do good, you still need to that I still need to continue improving. Yeah, you, you... As a wise man, like Bloodex say, but it's the, the hard thing is like, uh, continue being on top after you already became... The hardest top. thing is to... Yeah. Yeah, yeah do you do you regret like playing less? What were you, If you were playing less, what were you doing? Were you still gaming or were you just going Oh out? yeah, I was still gaming. I was just playing League of Legends made. And I'm that I'm hard like still, you know? <laughs> right, yeah. But, but I just, I don't know, I think like the last two seasons, I don't have that much fun playing. So I just played other kids having fun. But um, gotta take it like a work, you know. Yeah, and now next season, hopefully, what it? What do you think about the hammers being removed? Do you want them to stay removed? I mean, I'd rather have them removed than not. I don't yeah. like the hammers that much. I mean, it's fine with like grab on that. I just don't want them to break those. Yeah, it's, a, it's a bit griefy. I mean, do you think the the last season's been difficult to watch? The last. This this sorry this sorry it's not over yet. This current season has been difficult to watch. The uh, hammers and that, and the meta, and and, and all that well, kind of. I think, like, as a viewer, I think you you probably think it's pretty fun, though. Like, just always happening stuff, you can hammer it into a box. 
I think yeah. it might have been fun to watch as a viewer, but I don't think like playing. Playing has been pretty, annoying, pretty it? not Especially fun. Especially solos with like people yeah. flying everywhere, hammers flying everywhere. Yeah. It's very yeah, annoying, isn't it? What do you what do you think about um Fortnite competitive? Their what has their best decision been in your eyes? I think the lanes they're having, I think that's probably pretty good for them. What, what like was it like have... playing in the land? I mean, obviously, I was too to go to international. I was 20 points away, but uh, I mean, even just the dream mate, I think it's just fun to like meet the people that yeah. you play with and that, you know? Yeah, yeah, and have everyone in the room. It's kind of scary, isn't it? That's, yeah, it's so scary. That's why, I, that's why I go out every night, so I wake up, I'm over and just sit there and play. But um, <laughs> did, you, did you do well at Elan? Uh, I mean, the first time I went to was the Anaheim in 2019. <laughs> which was a year ago, like yeah. no, not a year ago, ages ago, man. Uh, I qualified for that one, I went like 25th, and then the last two dream hacks and some have been sick both times when I went, so didn't do that well, but uh, it was still fun. Yeah. Are you are you a land demon? Normally, if I'm not ill, yeah, I play better on land. When, but, we, uh, wait, when were you ill? Uh, the last two dream hacks. The last two? Yeah, the last two. Why, why, what were you ill with? Bro, I don't even know everything, mate. I had headaches. Like, bro, that was like, it's like you were on drugs or something, mate. I was <laughs> fuming around. Fair enough. And on the, on the other hand, what do you think Fortnite Competitive's worst decision has been? Uh, I, hmm, the worst decision. I don't know. I don't even know if, like, having duos is bad. It's probably better for, like, for, like, making content and, like, as a game mode. But I don't know. I just, I just think I'll, I hate that it has that it had to be the same game for years and years. Yeah, well, like, they, they said they weren't going to do that, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, yeah, but if, that. yeah, but if duo this season and the next season as well, it's going to be a duo land. Yeah, it's probably going to be a whole year, you know. Yeah, but I like when they switch like the, maybe not every season, but maybe like every two seasons. They switch, yeah. It, it would be. Um, I think it'd be. I think it would be. A, yeah, refreshing. But also, uh, I'm thinking from a viewership perspective. Everyone's really excited to see who the new tri tri trios are, you know, and who the new duos yeah. are, and and I think um, the yeah. change would 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 uh, you know encourage people to watch. Fortnite yeah, runs. I mean there was a lot of viewers when when they had to like, like official say what the game is, you know. Yeah. There were so many viewers. Yeah, and 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 uh, I know that obviously if they keep it duos, it builds storylines, but we're just seeing the same names every single week. Yeah, um, like it must also be boring for a view, you know, just yeah. like, oh, it's just not a League Cup, you know, yeah. just Peter Venom again, yeah. Thomas Malibuka. Where, where, boring. Whereas if they announced the next week, it, you know, where they were changing to trios, it'd be so, yeah. it'd be so much more fun, you know, to, to, to Yeah, watch. then maybe like, let's say if it's been three or two seasons in a row, then they make it duos, then maybe some duos not playing anymore because, you know, the other guys when like the guys playing trios might have done better than the other duos. yeah yeah so then you get new duos coming out and, yeah and more yeah yeah i would say that this is kind of a, a scary point for fortnite because it's uh it's actually yeah the, the fact that it's duos the whole time even though that might be like the most competitive thing it's uh it's a little bit boring it is uh obviously tomorrow there's a new season what are your plans yeah. for the new season what, what do you hope happens are you excited for it tell me about it uh i mean i'm excited for it just to Hopefully, don't have hammers. I don't really like the hammers, but um, like I don't really care about like what what's inside the game as long as it's not a hammer. I'm actually yeah. Uh, hold on, we'll find out I'm about a... that tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> when there's, if there's no hammers, of... I'm actually just glad. But I mean, like you say, you don't actually care about what's in the game. You know. Yeah. We have no idea what Fortnite is capable of. You know, like it Maybe. could be. Yep. It could be horrendous. It could be everything. Like I played a server and there's a spider. Like there's a Doku master or something that just. Jump to into that. Yeah, yeah. Do you get demotivated when you play new seasons and it's absolutely horrendous? I think I don't. I don't know. Maybe, but I feel like we, as a Fortnite players, I think we are very quick to say it's a bad season, you know. Because I feel like every time there's been a new season, you look back to the ocean. It's like, man, it, it wasn't actually that bad, you know. Yeah. Like everyone yeah, said, chapter two was bad. Last season, like last year was bad, but like. Maybe just because father keep making worse and worse, but like, I might be yeah, the reason. I don't know. I feel like they do keep making it worse and worse, though. How you feel like, or you don't? I feel like they do make it worse and worse. I feel like yeah, the so. uh, the elite cups make it worse. I feel like the hammers, yeah, the, uh, the grapplers. There's always like just crazy stuff going on, and yeah, um, yeah. and bugs all the time. Like the hammer bugs been in all season. It's got to be frustrating, yeah, I, right? Yeah, I think it's also. 
like with that because like this uh, where you cross the grains, right? I think people like that way where you can get like, the fee, you know, because then even if you change duos last week, you can still make the grains, you know? Yeah. Yeah, That's yeah. Like, this is the easiest grant ever, wasn't it? As well. I mean, yeah, if you're, if you're good at open lobbies, yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, look, thank you so much for coming on the podcast, mate. It's been great speaking to you about your career. And uh, I wish you luck in the new season and with the new tournaments. Thank you, mate. Thank you for having me. Yeah, superb, mate. Thank you very much.